we're here together with Carmen from uh, Gayoda Association in Brussels, together also with Florence, Content Director of, uh, of Anlit. And uh, well, we're happy to, uh, to be here and to discuss a few topics that uh, could be of interest to the sector as well. Uh, Florence, you have any specific questions already prepared? We have, of course, already discussed this uh, shortly. Yes. First of all, sorry, I don't have coffee with me, but I'm drinking water. So <laughs> here it goes. Um, so the first question for you, uh, Carmen, is how the members are serving the industry in times of this COVID virus? Mm -hmm. So, hi. Well, I, I have my cup of coffee with me. <laughs> well, I think, uh, of course, uh, the old members are serving the industry in these in this times uh, absolutely great. I would say they are still, despite the circumstances, keeping the lights on, which is uh, our, um, our core and uh, main task. Um, uh, we, we do think that, of course, we talk a lot about the heroes of this, uh, of this uh, crisis, which, of course, are all the, um, those involved in the healthy uh, sector, doctors, uh, nurses, etc. But I think also um, our members and all the um, well, all the energy uh, energy sectors are providing these essential services, and they are uh, delivering uh, absolutely uh, being um, being committed. And you know, um, despite um, well, with the in some cases even the risk that this uh, that uh, might. Uh, cause in their in their persons in some other cases our members are in general let's say local energy companies so in terms of size also they are represent this small medium sized uh, players so in many cases they are also suffering uh, uh, from their own uh, uh, staff colleagues uh, not being able because of sickness to to deliver and then double uh, uh, doing double turns if neither so absolutely committed not only that also um, since they are local and mostly local energy companies very very linked to the to the ground very close to the their own uh, customers to their own consumers um, we have seen many initiatives of uh, cooperation with the uh, with the with the society with the population in terms of either providing support for those more, most vulnerable in terms of either uh, food uh, providing food providing um, protection uh, equipments uh, masks uh, guns other uh, things to to their pol local police to to doctors to nurses. Uh, we have uh, we are collecting actually different actions being provided applying discounts in the energy bill to those uh, vulnerable or that, that have lost their job I mean um, this has been the case particularly in Spain one of the countries in Europe very um, significantly hit by by the virus um, so uh, I think well we uh, of course myself I already knew about this uh, how close and how seriously they they take the to provide the best and the excellent uh, service to to their customers but this uh, this situation has really put this into into practice and, and we have seen that uh, across Europe in many cases mm -hmm. that's beautiful it's very nice to see that uh, people are helping each other uh, maybe even more now um, and that they are doing also sometimes a very courageous work themselves. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. do, you, do you think that perhaps after the uh, after the COVID nineteen that uh, this this those changes maybe will last hopefully, or maybe you see some perhaps other changes that might happen? I, I think something which is uh, fundamental is that uh, now uh, people, so consumers, they do care about energy. Uh, I would say maybe mostly electricity uh, because this is obvious. I mean, and 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 how important it is, and how it can help to make things um, better. And 
and and because it's something that we all, we say uh, this is in some cases uh, taken for granted you know it's like yeah i have a house and i have electricity or <laughs> why not i mean it comes with the walls and and now yeah and now you realize how important it is and we all have seen uh, at least uh, again in, in italy in spain you know building this sort of uh, campaign hospitals that they build from in two days and and you see that the energy company providing uh, for free i have to say many in many main cities the uh, the supply the electricity and because it's absolutely needed to keep uh, hospitals and all the equipment that the device is running and, and at the end to keep uh, all of uh, well people uh, alive so uh, of course, it is sad that we need uh, such a, such a critical situation to realize. But I think this uh, is we all will be much more uh, conscious of the value of, of electricity. This is uh, one thing, and the second thing I think the 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 customers uh, can feel uh, their energy companies, um, particularly in local uh, cases, much more closer to them.